Right, I'm using this pen drawing tool. Right. Um, the market is an auction, yeah? And the market either auctions fairly, which is what traders would generally know as a ranging market, or unfairly, which, you know, can be uh, what is known as a trending market, but that can be obviously a, a, a fairly traded market, but again, not getting into this too much. More focusing on this, yeah, is, is, is what people would term as a range or sideways or consolidation or accumulation type, you know, uh, phase of the market. Uh, when really it's an auction. Now, the market and, and, and participants in the market um, uh, break down their, their large positions into orders known as iceberg orders. And so what we need to understand is that if that's, you know, that's, uh, that's time and that's price, is that if we are focused on a very narrow time frame, let's say, for example, that might represent, you know, a day or two, yeah? Might be a day or two. Now, if we zoom down into maybe like a five minute chart, a 10 minute chart, and then you go down and you start to see, you know, uh, prices trading like this and trading like this, and it looks like prices are trending on that five minute or lower time frame or, you know, bouncing off support and resistance levels. Just understand the bigger picture is that the market, yeah, and participants in the market are using the liquidity around intraday support and resistance levels, supply and demand zones, to accumulate between and buy and sell, yeah, and, and as well as the market makers trying to provide liquidity to those financial institutions between a certain price, yeah, because ultimately this is seen as a potential um, uh, expensive area. Again, if we know the fundamentals, yeah, we know that the you know the central bank is hiking rate, for example, hiking rates, and if that is, for example, the dollar yen, yeah, then we sh we know that prices eventually should go to the upside. But will it go, you know, to the upside today or tomorrow or this week or even this month? It may do, it may not. But what we have to understand is that it takes time for the banks and the institutions and sovereign wealth funds and all of the you know all those big money basically to accumulate and buy at certain prices, right? Whatever price this is and whatever price this is, yeah, an auction is going on, right? Because everybody has diff a different perception of what cheap and a bargain is or value is, right? But overall, overall, you will get prices moving in some sort of, you know, auction or sideways moving market. And what this is allowing is for business to transact and to occur for various different, you know, hundreds of thousands of different businesses and entities, etc. right, to buy at certain prices, yeah, and buy and sell, right? You've got short-term traders, you've got long-term traders, you've got speculators, you've got investors, etc. right? The market is for is a business model first. It's to provide liquidity for, 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 for big institutions. And it's for us to speculate second on what, you know, price may do in the future, right? So with that being said, if you're seeing levels on a five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, and you're seeing certain things happen, just understand, and that represents maybe something like, you know, 30 pips, 50 pips of movement, that is not fundamentals, right? Price is not going up because of fundamentals. Price is not going down because of fundamentals. Fundamental analysis, a strong fundamental analysis will push prices hundreds, if not, you know, a thousand or two pips. Yeah. This is just an auction where buyers and sellers are doing business. The market maker is providing liquidity. Yeah. For businesses to transact. Yeah. And that is all it is. Yeah. So we have to recognize when we're in a particular market state and it gets a bit more complex because you can get auctions inside of auctions inside of auctions. Right. But just understand that, you know, we have to um, have this perspective when it comes to fundamental analysis and not trying to say, all right, then prices have moved 80 pips. That's because of fundamentals. Prices moved down, you know, 80 pips or 50 pips, or there's been a large candle today. It's because of fundamentals or risk sentiment. No, it's not. Do you know what I mean? Unless it is. And that's obviously, you know, we look to the news and we start to see that there is, you know, front page news and things like that. Right. But in general, try to not derive 
or come to the conclusion that every single large movement or what you perceived as a large movement on the movement on an intraday time frame is to do with fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is all about value in the future. Yeah. And what is potentially likely to happen in the medium to long term, one to three to six to nine, to nine months. Yeah. So everyone clear with that so far? Everyone clear with that over? Anyone got any questions?